Alright, welcome back. J Time Reaction. This is Ghost in the Elevator Breaking. This is a real old video, I think. Based on what he just said. But, uh, I don't know. I might have seen this video. You know, back in the day, I used to just watch a whole bunch of random ass videos on YouTube. I didn't care. When I might have came across this video, I mean, if it looks familiar, I might call it out. But, hey. Okay, so I've been hearing about this video, like, for the longest, since way before I did reactions, but I never, ever watched it, but, but, it popped up on my, um, what's that, my, what, because I, I was looking for scare cams, basically, which I was asking for, scare cams, and it popped up, and I was, like, as soon as I read it, I was like, oh! That's that one video everybody be talking about, so I'm like, I gotta check it out. So let's go. I don't know what they saying either, y'all, but they said just watch it, so. Yeah. I've seen this. The last one flip on and off. Yep, yep, lights flicker on and off, and they got a little trap door in there. You know, you see these little things right there? You got a little trap door in there, and the person, you know, opens it up, you know, a little quietly. Comes out, holds it quietly, and just stands like right in front of her. She just, whew, just screams like shit. I remember this. I remember this. Ghost girl, I think. <laughs> Can she see? Oh, yeah. Did she see her She's just like, I'm gonna act like I don't even see this bitch. Hmm. Yeah. Night vision point. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, he don't get it. See that? It's a little trap door right there. Yeah, I have seen this. I can't say I believe that, because when they cut it off, she was gone. They, they cut the lights like right back on, and she was gone. Like, too fast. I know it was instant the way she just left, like she was ghost in her. How can they not see her or hear her? Oh. <laughs> she does look creepy though. <laughs> See? Like she's gone like two seconds. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, your hair all fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they finna fuck her in there again? They are so good. Jeez! Like, how did she get in there so fast? <laughs> Bruh, that was at the max five seconds. I mean, she's a little girl. You know she can fit in small places and shit like that. So of course she's gonna move around fast. I mean, she got paid to do that shit too. When did this video come out? This came out what, 2008? I don't know. 2007? Let's see how much of a man you are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what <laughs> oh, He's shit. just laying up against the wall like, I ain't, I ain't do shit. Pode ficar à vontade. Pode apertar, sete mandar. É mais. 
what kind of building is this? Like, what are they even going there for? An interview, maybe? Nah. Not the way they dress. That's not an interview attire. Yeah, that's not interview attire. I guess they can't see. But I got the knife facing camp. Screaming that much. Pode ir, tá? Never aqui, ó, pode apertar aqui no sétimo andar, por favor. Boa sorte. Até já. What language is they speaking? Right, let me pause for a second. Would y'all like to see me react to some scary pranks? I have seen a lot of scary videos on YouTube, so. If I recognize the video, I might call it out like in the, like in the beginning or in the middle, just depends. Um, I'm gonna try. Re I'm gonna try to react to some pranks. Um, hopefully, I won't get claimed. Um, you know what? In the description, I'm gonna put no copyright intended. Well, no cop. Yeah, no copyright intended. That's all I'm gonna put. That way they'll know, you know, and it's a reaction. I put reaction in all caps with two stars in the front and on the left. I mean, on the left and on the right. So they should know. Sometimes they, they don't fucking listen. They claim you anyway. Assholes. Everybody got to look themselves in the mirror. At the end, they show you everything, so, yeah. See? Now look at yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think they're looking somebody else with George Lopez. Like, what the fuck? I'll probably just stand there with no reaction whatsoever. <laughs> Yo. Funny how some of these is white people and foreign people. Imagine a black person being in that in that elevator. He punched the shit out of that little girl. <laughs> like as soon as the lights come on, like, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Say, oh shit, like 32 times before they even call the damn ambulance. They, nah, black people don't call an ambulance. They don't. They just walk away from the whole incident like ain't shit happen. That's a, that's a nigga for you. I'm not gonna say black people, I'm gonna say nigga. That's a niggas for you. <laughs> Straight up ignorant. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. He said son of a bitch. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Chased his ass. Uh, oh, that's funny. Okay, in all honesty, it is funny. It is funny. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I thought it was gonna show it at the end. They usually do. Well, whatever. Oh, but I 
don't see like I don't I don't know if it's um if it's real, you know, cuz it's not real. The first yeah. factor is the fact that like uh when she screams at him then lights go out, they come right back on and she's gone. I'm just like Okay, it took you like a good four or five seconds to get in the elevator, but uh, like a split second to get out the elevator. I'm like, I don't, I don't see how that works. Um, I was going to say like, I don't think the lighting is right. Like you should be able to see her crawling in because uh, it seemed like a couple of people saw her when she was standing there. So I'm like, you should have seen her coming in and heard her, you know, you slide the door open. I, I think I would hear that, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, in elevators, because I've been in the elevator before when the lights cut off. It wasn't stuck or anything. The light just, I don't know what the fuck happened to it, but it just went off. Yeah, that's the scariest shit ever, man. That happened to me one time. You know, I was at, uh, I forget what resort I was at. I'm not sure. I think I was in Atlantic City. And, man, that elevator, it didn't cut off, but, I mean, the lights was just flipping on and off. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, I think, eight, nine, maybe ten at the time. That shit was crazy. I wasn't scared of shit, though. You really can't see shit in elevators. No, you can't. So, that's not really a factor. Um, mainly, it's just the fact, I'm just like, how do you not hear her climb in the elevator? Oh, you know what? And another thing... Like, me personally, I can't stand elevators. I hate them. And it's not because of the fact that they get stuck or anything. My thing with elevators is you can ask anybody that knew me since I was little. Elevators, for some reason, you know, when they start, like, I get a, like, I, I honestly feel like somebody just slapped me in my head. Like, it just makes me, like, like, when they first start moving, I just, like, oh, shit. Like, I don't know why. It's just, like, it gives me, like, a snap headache. Like, like, damn. But then I. Yeah, I used to hate elevators, too. In fact, back in the day, I, I used to be scared to get on elevators, as a matter of fact. You know, when I was like six, maybe seven, maybe eight. I used to, I used to be scared to get on elevators, because um, I forgot where the amusement park we went to, but we went, uh, we got on this ride. You know, it was kind of like, uh, y'all know the Tower of Terror from uh, Disney World? Then they got the Disneyland, too. But, um... Tower of Terror really ain't that scary. They just take you up a couple floors and then they just drop the shit. You know? And when it drops, it drops like real fast and it just makes your stomach all queasy and shit. Well, the ride we got on, you know, on the Tower of Terror, you actually sit in the seat. But on this one ride that we got on, we was standing up. <laughs> we was standing up. But on the inside of it, you know, inside the elevator, they had, uh, you know, little bars to hold on to. And, um, hold on. no, 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 never mind, never mind. I'm thinking of bars like this and shit. Actually, no, they actually had straps in the wall, never mind. They had straps in the wall, and, um, you know, like the drop zone at King's Dominion. They got the little straps and shit, strap you in tight, and you can hold on to the thing. You know, kind of like that thing that spins around. I threw up on one of those one time, but. Like, dude, when the shit dropped, my, like, you know, <laughs> I used to always make those faces when I got on rides that dropped, you know, you know, especially that, uh, that slingshot ride in Atlantic City at that carnival, bro, that, yo, and then that shit went up so high, I looked down and I seen the fucking river, I'm like, oh, God, damn, I hope we don't fall in that, I hope we don't fall in that, like that, that is crazy. I be straight, like, so, like, whenever an elevator moves, I, I know it's moving, because I'm like, oh, shit, but clearly this elevator isn't actually moving, so I'm like, how do y'all think, ah, oh, fucking dust, <laughs> that was a stream, not a ghost, people, <laughs> but see, there it is, god damn it, but anyway, yeah, like, I, I would know that the elevator isn't moving, you know, I'm not sitting here trying to brag, saying, oh, you can't prank me, it's impossible, it's definitely possible to prank me, I've been pranked a hundred, hundreds of times, but this, the elevator prank, I just can't, I can't, br I can't bring myself to believe that it's real, because of the fact that you can feel the elevator moving, she gets out the elevator in like a split second, and you don't hear her. I mean, you probably don't hear her getting out because she's screaming, but still, you you don't hear her coming in the elevator. You don't see her when she's standing there until the lights come on. I don't. 
I don't know, because even, you know, like, even when the light's off, like, if I cut the lights off right now and it was, like, super dark, you know when you could just feel something is there, you know? Like, mm-hmm. you just feel it. You just feel it. I, I feel like it's a natural human instinct to feel when something is there, even Yeah, just like when I'm, just like when I wake up in the middle of the night, all the lights are off, nothing is on, my light is off, TV is off, the hallway light is fucked up, so, yeah, that don't even, that don't even work. Um, sister's light is off. Bathroom light is off. The master bedroom light is off. The living room light is off. Foil light is off. You know, every every light in the house is off. Walk around the house with the lights off. You feel like something is like standing right, be- like standing right behind you. All of a sudden, you feel something breathing down your neck. You turn around and like, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel, I feel that way sometimes, especially when I'm walking up the steps. Like, when I turn the lights off downstairs after making me something to eat. And I walk up the steps because I use the bathroom light to actually see where I'm going. So sometimes I use my phone, you know, the flashlight. But when I walk up the steps with none of the lights on, just my TV, when I'm the only one up, sometimes I feel like I see something just sitting on the steps, just standing there on the steps. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I mean, it, it don't scare the shit out of me. I'm just saying, like, I, I just walk up. And it's like I'm getting closer and closer and closer to it. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? Then I see something move. I'm like, oh, shit. And <laughs> just run up the steps. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it don't scare the shit out of me. I'm just saying. It, it's you know, Sometimes I'll be having visions and then I just start seeing shit. I'll be hallucinating. I don't know how much weed I used to smoke, right? I hallucinate way too much. When you can't see shit, it's like, like you know how um, blind people, their senses enhance? I feel like... You know, people that aren't blind or whatever, when they can't, when they're in a situation that they can't see, like it's too dark, their senses, you know, enhance a little bit. You know, maybe not like super major, like daredevil or something, but I feel like you can, I don't know, you get that vibe when something is around you or something or whatever, but so I can't bring it to myself to think that this is real, but it is epic. So if it is real, that is fucking incredible. That is the greatest prank of all time. <laughs> well, okay, probably not all time. Cause, uh, I don't know, man. The motherfucking Mortal Kombat in the elevator. Those were fucking epic. But I do like this, though. That shit was definitely like... Oh, that shit was hard. Oh, shut the fuck down. But, you know, like... It's like... I don't know. Like, I honestly want to believe it's real. But something in me is just like... Nah, that's... Nah, bruh. Uh-uh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> But uh, anyway, I liked it though. Come on. Come on.